あれなんだこれなんか安心するあったかくていい匂いで柔らか。It's been a while since I made a video on this topic. Also, I saw you guys were requesting to showcase more harem anime. So, without wasting any time, I present you top 10 harem anime you should watch. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Also, hit that notification bell so that you can stay updated whenever I upload a new video. Now, sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Let's start our list with Cat Planet Cuties. Our protagonist is a drab character who leads a pleasant life. However, everything turns upside down when he meets a friendly cat alien named Eris. Things get even complicated when her fellow felines set up base in his house. Now he needs to put in a lot of effort to keep her safe from evil organizations that want to kidnap her, even though having some negative feedbacks and some flaws. It does an amazing job displaying its ecchi. And action elements. You just can't take this show seriously, as it's a light watch anime. Overall, if you enjoy these genres and are looking for a fun way to pass the time, I recommend giving it a try. In ninth place, we have White Album. Our protagonist is a young university student. Who juggles to part time jobs with his studies so that he can afford to live. He's dating a girl named Yuki, who's an up and coming idol, with her managers keeping a close watch on her and attempting to prevent their relationship. It seems that they will simply have to make the most of their fleeting moments together. I feel this show is truly underrated. It deserves more love, as it showcases some real life harem situations, which are hard to find these days. Characters are something you'll take time getting used to. But overall, it's a pleasant experience watching this anime, and you should definitely give it a try. In eighth place, we have Unlimited Fafnir. The world was turned upside down 25 years ago when monsters known as dragons arrived. Over time, superhuman girls possessing the powers of the dragons called D Girls were born. Our protagonist is the only male D in existence and is forced to enroll at Midgar Academy. Now he must prepare to face the seven dragons who threaten the world's destruction. Despite all the pros and cons, I feel it's a pretty decent show. If you're a hardcore harem fan, you might get disappointed by the lack of harem elements. However, if these factors are ignored, the overall experience is satisfactory. I recommend giving it a shot and deciding for yourself. Coming in at the seventh place, we have In Search of the Lost Future. The astronomy club of our protagonist is filled with the big names on campus. Just before the festival, the club receives a request from the student executive committee to calm the uneasiness among the students. There are reports of ghost sightings, accidents, and sleeping sickness at the old building. Later, our protagonist meets a quiet girl, and the gears of fate slowly begin to move. To be honest, I didn't expect that much from this show. But it really surprised me with its characters and efforts. I'd recommend this show to anyone who wants a change of pace from your traditional shows. Overall, I feel it's an underrated show and you should give it a chance. Moving on, we have. So, I can't play H. Our protagonist is a self proclaimed proud pervert. When he spots a fiery haired girl standing in the rain one day, he invites her to his house. Never make a deal with the goddess you've just met. He learns that hard way when he agrees to let her use some of his essence to stay in this world. Now they must deal with other well endowed Shinigami while trying to maintain a typical school life together. I feel this show is the perfect example. Of what harem and ekshi shows are about. 
If fan service and action elements are something you look highly while picking a particular show, then this anime is for you. In fifth place, we have Oremo. Our protagonist is a normal teenager with average grades and an average home life. But when he finds out that his younger sister has been hiding her vast anime collection from their parents, his world turns inside out. Now he must help his sibling and navigate her through to distinct lives. This anime was a pleasant surprise. If you're looking for funny and heartwarming show with a touch of harem elements, then I suggest you to give it a try. In the end, I feel it's definitely not for everyone. It's just a heartwarming story about a big brother protecting and supporting his little sister. In fourth place, we have Mother of the Goddess Dormitory. Our protagonist is a 12-year-old boy who was abandoned by his father after their house caught on fire. One day, a girl named Minerva finds him lying on the sidewalk. She takes him to a women's college dormitory known for housing troublesome residents and asks him to be their dormitory mother. Surrounded by older women, he starts his new life, even though it's pretty early to judge. But I can say, this is pretty much a guilty pleasure of the season. If you're into ecchi and fan service stuff, you shouldn't miss this one. Overall it's a pretty good start to the anime, and I highly recommend you to give it a try. In third place, we have Taitama, Kiss on My Deity. Our protagonist is a typical, normal Japanese teenager. While trying to protect a wooden relic, he summons the goddess in the form of a sweet affectionate girl. She begins to live with him. However, they have bigger things to worry about. They end up unleashing the Taitai, a human-hating race of monsters. Now they must step up to fight the Taitai and protect the world. In my opinion, this is really a refreshing anime. No unnecessary ecchi elements and fan service. If you're looking for something heartwarming and funny, this is the perfect pick for you. I highly recommend you to give it a try. In second place, we have, they are my noble masters. Due to family troubles, our protagonist and his sister leave their home. They end up moving to the city, but find themselves with a lack of money. Somehow they find a job as servants in the Kuonji family's mansion. There they learn what it takes to be the best maid and butler of the mansion. I feel you shouldn't judge the show by its old animation. It's definitely one of the better harem shows out there. From characters to funny moments, everything is perfect. I highly recommend you to give it a try, as I feel it falls under that underrated category. In first place, we have Spirit Chronicles. Our protagonist is an orphaned boy living in the slums. At only seven years old, he realizes he's actually the reincarnation of Japanese university student with a tragic past. Along with his memories, our protagonist awakens an unknown special power. He uses his new powers to solve the kidnapping case of a little girl. After saving her, he is given a scholarship at the Royal Academy. Even though it started as a generic isekai show, it really took a turn in the second episode. Not gonna lie, I initially expected it to be a more action-packed show, but it started focusing on harem bits more, which is good for people who like fantasy harem shows. That's all for today's list guys. I hope you must have enjoyed the video. Show your support by dropping a like and subscribing to my channel. 
Also follow me on my social media accounts to stay updated. In the end, you all stay happy and I will see you in the next video. See ya.